I'm Stuart Bronson. In 1926, my father started Tommy Bronson Sporting Goods. A lot of things have changed since then, but the tradition of providing outstanding service and personal attention to our clients has never changed. Today, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the early history of Tommy Bronson Sporting Goods. Tell us a little bit about the very early days of the store in Walden. Well, my dad had an early interest in tennis because he played uh, high school tennis at Central High School. And then he went on to work in the pro shop at one of the local clubs. He learned to string rackets. And from there, two or three years later, he decided to open his own, own place, and that was at Waldron, which was downtown Memphis, Tennessee. But eventually, Dad realized that uh, tennis was not going to sustain the business uh, during the winter time. But finally, uh, some friends invited him to go fishing. He fell in love with that, and then he went hunting, and the rest is history. He began to sell hunting and fishing to sustain him over the winter time, and tennis was still the mainstay for many, many, many years, but the hunting and fishing uh, was what helped build the business on Waldron. So Stuart, uh, why did you guys move the store from Waldron Avenue uh, after having been there for over 40 years? Well, believe me, Dad didn't want to move. That was his home away from home. Uh, he spent more hours there than he did at the house, I'm sure. But uh, Urban Renewal decided to buy that property and develop a retirement community. And they sent over two agents, uh, you know, of course, in the suits, the, the wing tips, the whole deal. And Mr. Bronson, uh, you've got two years uh, but you're going to have to move out of this location. Eventually, they came to him and said, time is almost up. We're going to knock this whole block down. We think we found you a location. You're going to like it. It happened to be in a, one of the best uh, streets in town, Union Avenue, a lot of traffic flow, a lot more parking. And mostly, it gave us over twice the amount of uh, display space that he had on Waldron. So Dad looked at the place and said, uh, well, first, I don't think I can afford this. Of course, uh, he worked that out, too. Didn't know that he would ever fill that location with that much merchandise. Less than a year later, we were looking for more space. So, you know, the growth just came about, but it wasn't his plan from the start. It was someone else's, and that's just the way things happen sometimes. Stuart, so uh, how has Tommy Bronson Sporting Goods survived the onslaught of the big box outdoor retailers who offer hunting and fishing gear at discount prices? Well, if I had to make a long list of, uh, of factors uh, in that regard, the first three would be customer service, customer service, and customer service. I mean, my dad told me early on, anybody with a checking account could buy the inventories that we sell, open a store, and, uh, and compete. But if we outcompete them by taking good care of our customers uh, and servicing them properly, then uh, that was the best chance that we had to survive. And that's what we did. I mean, the big boxes certainly have that connotation of an impersonal approach. Some do. Um, I'll, I remember uh, early on working for Dad when Walmart came into existence. And we were heavily into the tennis business. And they were offering some of the, the equipment that we sold close to our cost. Oh, well, I panicked. Dad said, you know, don't worry about it. You just keep plugging away. You sell them what they need and, and take care of your customers. And, and that's the way we, we operated the business uh, all this time. And, you know, I've got to go back to a family business. Uh, there's a difference in a family-owned business and a family business. And because of my dad's early training, I learned that uh, it's that extended family of customers that have been loyal to us and we've been faithful to them. Um, but it's been a great uh, number of years of loyalty. We're now working on our fourth generation of customers and can't say enough appreciation about all the folks through the years that have supported us.